Good day, everybody. So it is a crazy, wet, pouring, intense day out there. And of course, I haven't had enough caffeine, as you can see. And I'm out in the greenhouse. I just thought I'd give you a little heads up as to what is going on. So I'm going to switch the camera and then give you an idea about that. So um, here go the seedlings again. And I actually did an awful lot more. Um, I know it's going to be hard to see, but actually, um, I got a little seedling coming up in the uh, lettuce, uh, little lettuce bin. So this one is iceberg. The onions aren't doing so well, so I'm going to have to figure out something. And my calendula still hasn't uh, uh, popped up, but we'll see what we've got. So um, back here, I'm really excited because these are the solar flare lettuces. And you can see the date that I planted them. And they're all coming up. And then back here, I have Cosmos uh, flowers for the pollinators. My kale uh, just came up. And again, hard to see, but in the right-hand side, lower right-hand side, uh, prize head lettuce uh, actually has just come up. So I'm really happy about that. And then new plantings. So excuse the camera angle. Um, in here. So here's my new little hack, and I'm really kind of excited about that. So let me move this out of the way. And you could see these containers. Alrighty, these are the types of containers that you get when um, you take home, home cake from a restaurant or a bakery or something like that. So what I did was, um, and I think this one, so forgive me that I'm doing this one-handed. Uh, I'm just gonna see if I can do this without making a mess. Maybe not that one, hold on. Okay, this one, I should be able to. What I did was turn this around. Uh, this is a flower called Bells of Ireland. And I planted them and now I turned this container upside down and it becomes its own humidity dome. It's almost like a little mini greenhouse within a greenhouse. Then once they start to uh, sprout and get some height, I turn them upside down. The lid actually becomes a catch for the uh, water when it drains and allows the, the plants to grow. So this is a uh, green zebra um, tomatoes. So my new thing this year is to learn how to propagate. So this is something like when I plant it, I will probably uh, trim this off because if anybody doesn't know um, tomatoes you should not have the leaves touch the ground so these are just seedlings so I'm going to be uh, playing with this but as they get a little strong and I'm getting ready to plant them outside I will trim this off put it in some uh, rooting powder or gel I could just put it in water but if I'm, I'm I need I'm needing to get that um, like I said the rooting gel or powder and then I'd like to plant them in the soil and then make more plants. Just to give you an idea. So uh, that these are all flowers that I just did. Plus I also planted um, some snow peas. Um, and I forget which one because I'd have to open up which one. So I also did uh, snow peas and bush variety uh, beans uh, themselves. Just to give you a heads up. So. Uh, yeah, if I had dragon's tongue, because I ran out of those containers. Uh, so I'm waiting for those to come up. I'm a big fan of those types of beans. And in the back, um, we have some kohlrabi. And it's a little sparse, because I think it, there was a little bit of transplant shock um, on that. And the other one is doing much better um, here. So, and then last but not least, this is ice queen uh, lettuce and then butter crunch lettuce. And then these also are transplants. I tried something new from the Aero Garden. So I had three Aero Gardens in my home and I took these two out. And these are berries in cream variety. So they're still in shock, so I'm waiting to see um, what happens with that. So that's my update for today. As you can hear the rain, let me see. See that it's really, really rainy out there. And so you hear it all bouncing around, and, and uh, I'm very tired, so I need some caffeine. But if you're, I'm learning how to uh, grow in a greenhouse, and I'd like to impart some of that onto you. And if you have your tips, please 
Um, let me know uh, what your hacks and tips are. I know that once the weather gets very warm, I'll probably put um, some shade cloth out and then move everything outside. I also, uh, my husband just got me two wonderful uh, planters standing, so they're high. Uh, so they're like mini raised beds, and I'll be working with that. So I have a lot of new things that I have planned for this year, and it's all a, a, a learning curve. So if you like this video, subscribe. And um, again, many blessings to everybody, and thank you for joining us here at the Magical Garden. Bye-bye.